Welcome back, YouTube knife lovers. This is This Old Sword, and we have some formal wear for you today. In the name of an ascot. What is an ascot? You may need to Google that. It's a silk scarf that is used in lieu of a tie and placed in an open collar of a shirt generally for men, but probably for some women as well. Um, it's kind of an old thing, a real old thing. But we've got a bladed iteration of that today from Best Tech, as you can see. And this is the Best Tech Ascot. You might call it a gentleman's knife. Certainly fancy enough. But it is a strong and robust blade. Drop point. This one satin finished. Although they make a black blade version as well. And we've got a layered carbon fiber. Really nice. I believe it, they use a carbon fiber and a G10. And we have a burl wood. I'm not sure if it's a maple burl or some other type of wood. But it makes a really nice mix. We have a bronzed titanium clip. Steel liners. And we have a blade which I believe is 14C28N. Strangely enough, I think they do make a lower priced version in the 80s. This is a little over 100 here. Like 102, 105, something like that. So still pretty much within the realm of what you might call a budget knife. Let's run down some specs real quick. Overall length 8.75, blade length 3.875, cutting edge 3.75, blade width an inch. Um, interestingly enough, uh, this listing from Blade HQ is listing the material as D2, which is not correct according to the stamp right on the blade here, that this is 14C28N, Sandvik steel. Some might argue it's a better steel. Uh, certainly it's more stainless. And we have a carbon fiber and burl wood handle named the Ascot. It's a tip-up right hand carry only. Apologies go out once again to the lefties in the gang. Handle thickness 0.62, a little on the wide side. Blade thickness 0.15 inches, and I think we've covered all the specs. Let's take another look at some of the really nice details of this large-ish blade. We have some fine jimping on top. And it grabs the thumb pretty well. It is um, different than you're going to see on many knives, rather than a coarse jimping. It's almost a file-like jimping, but it doesn't really not abrade the hand at all. We've got some brass standoffs or surrounds on the pivot. We have what appears to be T8 screws throughout. It's a liner lock, steel liner. Blade is not really deep carry, but close enough. We've got two standoffs there, stainless steel. And um, it fills the hand quite nicely, but it really isn't overly thick. You have a point there that is a good working point. It's not too fine. 
Each of these handles is going to be a little different because the burl wood is going to be different in each section that's used. And we have it on both sides, which is nice. So the show side and the clip side are the same. There is your Best Tech logo. And there is your steel marking for the, there it is, 14C28N. Uh, do we have any weight relieving here? Yes, we do. We have several good size large holes, two, and two small cutouts. On the liner side, we don't have any. Or maybe we have one. Kind of hard to tell there. I believe there might be, yeah, there's one cut out. So the weight isn't heavy at all. They say 4.97 ounces. Let's test that and see what the trusty scale shows us. Make sure we can get it in a spot where it's visible. Zeroed out. And we have 4.24. So, the weight is not 4.97. It is 4.24, which is why it felt lighter than that. So for a large knife, it's a good weight, beautiful action on bearings. And again, if you're like me and you wanted a fancier knife without going full out and paying over 200 bucks, um, at like 102, 105, and these are still available, as far as I know, hard to go wrong. A little bit of a strong detent there. Definitely breaks away. Quick size comparison against the Benchmade Griptilian. It is a larger knife than the Griptilian by a good amount. We're at one. Well, rat one seems to be the equivalent of everything these days. Overall length, certainly. And blade, somewhat less. Could just be the perspective. Yeah, the blade's a little shorter on the rat. And one more final comparison. The Freak. And the Freak's a shorter blade and shorter overall by, I'd say, half to three quarters of an inch. So, Best Tech Ascot, a beautiful knife, but a good, solid, strong, working knife, if you choose, for your EDC. So this could be your Sunday go-to-church knife, or it could be an everyday carry knife. That's certainly up to you. And I hope you like this video, and you subscribe. This is This Old Sword, until next time. Take care.